Which one?
the last king. Holy, 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 God.
中文發咗多啲。Good morning. We welcome you back to the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. Today we celebrate Holy Trinity Sunday. Our celebrant is Father Greg Vignola. Please rise and join the choir in singing the entrance hymn, All People That on Earth Do Dwell. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to all of you, of you brother and sister. We thank God because we are able to once again to gather Welcome also to those who are still with us online. We thank God also for the, for the rain, for the thunder sound. This is not the sign that God is angry at us. This is the, the opposite sign of the blessing of God on us. Today, we celebrate the great mystery of our faith, the greatest mystery of our faith. Namely, the mystery of the Trinity. God is Father, Son, and Spirit. It is not so much something to talk about and try to understand as something to celebrate, to pray, and to live. Because our God is a God of unlimited love, while our own love suffer so many limitations. So, brother and sister, at the beginning of this celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. 
forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the Word the Word of truth and the Spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. The first reading 
is a reading from the book of Exodus. Here, God reveals himself to Moses on Mount Sinai as a God who is faithful to his promises and rich in tenderness and compassion. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is the third psalm of Daniel. The response is glory and praise forever. To you, glory. The second reading is a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Here, Paul encourages the Corinthians to live in peace and love. The reading contains a Trinitarian blessing, which is used as a greeting at Mass. Brothers and sisters, rejoice, mend your ways, encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. 
all the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Please rise now for the Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate today the mystery of the Holy Trinity. It is true that uh, some uh, believers are a bit intimidated by this great mystery of the Blessed Trinity. This is a pity. Even though we have to acknowledge that there is no use of discussing the mystery of God because it will be always impossible for us to completely understand God. God is a mystery. This is what we celebrate today. But a mystery is not something we can know nothing about. A mystery is something which is so full of meaning that no matter how hard we try, we will never get to the bottom of it. But at least with our own reasoning, it is possible to know of the existence of God. At the sight of something or other, a person will know in an instant that these things do not exist through themselves and that God is. As a house implies a builder, a dress, a weaver, a door, a carpenter, so the word itself should proclaim God its creator. When we look at the work heart, it is impossible not to think of the artist. So to look on the created word 
and not to see the Creator is to be blind to the meaning of the whole creation and of ourselves. Yet, sadly, many look and see nothing. Many listen and hear nothing. Why? Because in dealing with the daily life, people like that are too busy looking down upon the earth and forget to look up into the heaven. So, let us honestly ask ourselves, how much are we attuned to the sound of God? How much are we aware of His constant presence? How much do we feel His unconditional love? Because our God is a God of love. This is the main message of the whole scripture. Let us listen to a story that can help us to understand and to answer our question. One day, a farmer went into the city and as he was walking down a busy street, he suddenly stopped and said to a friend who was with, walking with him, I can hear a cricket. His friend was amazed and asked him, how can you hear a cricket in the midst of all this noise? Because my ears are attuned to the sound of the cricket, he said. Then he listened even more attentively, and following the sound, he found the cricket perched on the window ledge. His friend could not get over this, but the farmer show no surprise. Instead, he took a few coins from his pocket and threw them on the pavement. On hearing the jingle of the coins, all the passerby stopped in their track. You see what I mean, said the farmer? None of those people could hear the sound of the cricket, but all of them could hear the sound of the money. People hear what their ears are attuned to hear, and they are deaf to all the rest. So the point being made here is fairly obvious. We could be tuned in to God if we pay a bit more attention. Voltaire, that famous French writer, said one day, it is natural to admit the existence of God as soon as one open his eyes. And Abraham Lincoln, one of the former USA president, said, I cannot conceive how a person could look up into the heaven and say there is no God. Brother and sister, based only on our human relationship experience. We can also see the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit 
as friends to whom we can relate, as friends to whom we can talk in prayer. Because God's Son, Jesus, befriended us, we are no longer stranger and out outsider. We are all God's children. We are part of God's family. Our own children in the Sunday school learn how to grasp the mystery of the Holy Trinity. In thinking of God as their father or mother who loved them deeply. In thinking of Jesus as their brother who gave his life for them. In thinking of the Holy Spirit as a friend who, hel who helped them to live like Jesus and to bi bind them together as brother and sister in a community of faith and love. If our children can approach the mystery of the Holy Trinity in such a simple way, why we adults could not? In fact, basically, it is from the scripture that we can learn what God is like. For instance, today's first reading says that God is a God of tenderness and compassion, a God slow to anger, rich in kindness and faithfulness. And the Gospel says, God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son. Both these two readings have, in fact, the same message. Our God is a God of love. That is something tremendously important to know about God. God's unconditional love for us is the heart of the good news. So, our response can only be one of trust in God and of love to one another. What St. Paul says to the Corinthian today in the second reading is mean also for us. Help one another. Be united. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be always with you. Amen. Please stand for the profession of faith. Let us now use the short form of the creed to proclaim our faith to God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. 
He is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Brother and sister, let us pray to the Lord, who is merciful and gracious, slow in anger, and abundant in steadfast love and faithfulness. The response to today's general intercessions is, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. For the church, call to the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. May all who share in one baptism find communion in the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. For all the peoples of earth, children of God who loves the world, may we learn to live with each other in harmony and in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. For victims of harsh political and economic systems, may their oppression cease, and may they rejoice to be in the image of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. For married couples, for parents and children, for those who live in religious or service communities, may their love and respect for one another reflect the life of the triune God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering members of our community, may our care and concern be for them a healing communion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Father, may the food, the spiritual food we eat at this banquet make us strong and bind us together in unity and peace. We ask this through the same Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The offertory hymn is Glorify Thy Name.
Brother and sister, let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praise by angels and archangels who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with Cardinal John Tong, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brother and sister who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. As children of one father, disciple of one teacher, Jesus, and follower of one spirit, let us pray as our master taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. O God, 
you so loved the world that you gave your only Son that all might be saved. Continue to accompany your people on their journey. Fashion their life in your image that they may embrace one another in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and show forth your steadfast love and faithfulness that the world may see and believe. Graciously grant your church peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Brother and sister, let us offer each other a sign of peace. To receive the Holy Communion today, then probably the coming Sunday also, we ask you to stay in your place. The EM, the priest, the deacon, and the EM will go on each alley, then will give you the body of Christ. Brother and sister, this is the holy gift of God for his holy people. Let us draw near with respect, reverence, and faith, with praise and thanksgiving. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Today's communion hymns are How Wonderful the Three in One and For the Beauty of the Earth.
There's just one announcement this morning. As you leave the cathedral, kindly bring the yellow hymn sheet with you. Do not leave it behind in the pew. Thank you. Okay, I will add also that uh, the parish bulletin of June is already prepared, so you can get it at the entrance of both uh, two entrances of the church. Then you will see also I put some leftover of the building of uh, February, March, April, and May. Maybe because you did not have chance also to get one at that time, you know, you please feel free now to take one copy of each of them to bring them home. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace. Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Please join the choir in singing the recessional hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy. Lord God Almighty.